Hi, my golden friend. This is a fantastic tactical game between Mamad Yarov and Jordan Van Forest. Jordan Van Forest was the second of Magnus Carlsen in World Championship. And Mamad Yarov, you have seen his recent games in Tata Silicius tournament. They are fantastic. So the clash of these two uh, should be quite tactical and fantastic. And this game additionally in, has two um, important features. First shows importance of minor improvement second shows how to use counterplay actually doesn't show how to use counterplay uh, counterplay is the one that jordan van forest missed and you don't want to miss it in your games and we will discuss it in this game we also discuss a little bit about opening because opening is roy lopez initially one may think that it goes to berlin defense after knight takes uh, Epon Berlin at least Berlin defense is structure, but since both people and both players are attacking and aggressive players, it doesn't go to that line. B5 was pushed, and Bishop goes back, and no knight is defended. Let me uh, go back a little bit. At this position, some people simply play rook e1, including me, and then when knight goes back, we do some exchange and. The position is almost equalized for black, but um, white also has an easy development of pieces, and the pawn of black is double. Instead, black has double bishop. So this was not played in the game. Instead, d4 was played, and knight defends itself. You notice that you cannot go greedy and grab this pawn, but because then you know, rook attacks your knight, and this is a bad position you don't want to be in. Because this knight will be attacked by every piece. Observe that you cannot capture this knight. Because if you capture, then and it's end of a story. Both knights are under attack. You can defend at most one of them. But one of them will be captured. And still you have a very bad position. Your king is under discovery check soon. And if you think that by grabbing the queen, you end all drama. No, it's not the end. Because... This is a double check and mm, white can take the queen in the next move and it's mm, it's not just a um, white being up a piece but it's also position is falling apart for black so mm, uh, like this is a mm, dead lost so let's go back to the original position yeah there are many traps in uh, roy lopez or Italian game, similar games, uh, you can watch some videos I have for traps in these lines. Later, not now. And then pushing a4 and then b5. Then developing bishop and pushing further a5 to stop black from strengthening the pawns by playing pawn a5. Finally, black castles and white brings the queen in and offers black to exchange the knight with bishop now we have an imbalance position one side has a bishop pair the other side has knight pair of course bishop pair is better on the other hand white has a strong very strong pawn on e5 and white has more space so this is why engine says the position is equal but it is quite complex and here we finally get out of opening all pieces are developed and they are in, in relatively good position nothing is under attack and they want to start the real game at this position young uh, uh, jordan from forest plays interesting move knight in invites black to play pawn c5 notice that previous move intentionally black moved the bishop back not just to defend, be defended by rook, but also push c5. And white says, yes, push c5, I'm accepting that. And it's uh, not just pushing c5, as you can see in the game. First, Mamadiorov moves the bishop away to when he pushed the c5, uh, knight, couldn't, knight is not able to capture the uh, bishop. So it's a very dangerous attack running right now. And Jordan Van Forest says that no problem, you can push. And 
and this um, pawn is pushed finally notice that if you move the knight away for example if you go back with the knight then this is end of a day all right so you cannot do uh, you cannot play passive and you're then the young man doesn't play passive he pushes the pawn and uh, before i go about this line i should tell you that this move is very nice because attacks the uh, h7 pawn and this pawn should be defended by some means for example by knight g6 and otherwise if you don't defend it and if you go crazy and capture it it's a mate so this pawn should be defended and then after that white can move the bishop but anyways jordan van force had a different idea in mind he pushed e6 and this is a very interesting move very aggressive move and says that okay you can grab my knight i will grab your bishop and madior moves the bishop away notice that interestingly you cannot capture this pawn this is very dangerous why because the other not get in knight gets activated and what can you do here uh, you push the pawn to g6 otherwise if you capture this is a mate again you push the pawn on g6 to g6 or you can play knight g6 whatever you want but then finally knight gets in attacks your rook and queen and finally wins the exchange doesn't matter you try to attack the black bishop finally this knight wins the exchange and this position is quite healthy for white yes white is uh, uh, up at exchange and there is a a strong pass pawn for black on um, b6 but uh, exchange is exchange so this wasn't played of course and mama diorov went back with the bishop and jordan from forest continued attacking very nicely played knight g5 it says that grab my knight i will meet you don't forget this so of course, Mama Diorf didn't fall for mate and defended the mate by playing f5. And this is the moment that Jordan van Forest had to play more carefully. Especially that he always had the idea of mating at h7. He had to play queen h3 and attack the pawn to create weakness and only then play knight f7. No, at this position, knight cannot be captured by rook because after capture, capture, recapture, white simply saves his knight and there is nothing attacking uh, white's territory and white is uh, up a healthy exchange. Additionally, uh, this pawn push is not killer anymore because yeah, the queen is not there. Queen is not on d3 to be attacked. This is not double attack anymore. But in the game... Jordan van Forest forget about the idea and directly played knight f7. Knight attacks the queen. You don't want it to be there. So Mamadiorf captures that knight. Yeah, you could also capture the knight with the bishop. This is a different line, but uh, it's weaker. Like, um, work of Mamadiorf is already very good, nice. No, Mamadiorf is down a exchange but of course he is able to win a piece jordan van Voris says that okay you win a piece but i win some pawns in between and after winning the a pawn as well mamadior first saved the knight and after queen moves mamadior simply moves the bishop says that okay give me your bishop or your a pawn and here the position is bad for white because white is down and is simply down a pawn uh, not pawn on exchange for nothing not before that he had a pawn extra pawn but nothing uh, right now he has nothing and the position is really bad for um, uh, white so white should find some counter plays and first of all plays h4 for two reasons first uh, make an escape score for king so don't fall into back rank mate second push h5 and h6 and play play um, create counterplay but of course when the earth stops that 
then say that okay i will uh, assess my pawn defense and after you move the knight away after you make your move i offer uh, the, this pawn uh, before that you know that a move before this pawn couldn't be captured because this was the this was the end of a day right and then but anyway at this position jordan van forest offers the c pawn because he wants to create some counterplay that's a nice idea actually pawn is captured but then says that okay give me the bishop if you if black was capturing the bishop then was losing this bishop and it has uh, black was in a trouble because knight is under attack if you save the knight then the uh, pawn is gone and no white is again up a pawn down exchange uh, uh, down a piece up a exchange so it is somehow equalized game but of course when the didn't capture the bishop just slide away with the king because he didn't want to give the c pawn easily and finally they exchanged the bishops but c pawn is alive and here jordan van forest plays carelessly this is the move that was very careless instead here can you find the best move for jordan van forest to save the game can you find the counter play we have seen micro improvement here is where he had to find a good counter play counter play was simply to play queen b7 try to give perpetual check and if black is, uh, tries to hide uh, notice that you cannot uh, stop the checks by such a move because simply you move and lose the knight so you should move the king you can black can uh, stop the perpetual check but it is costly a little bit because then finally gives a check at back rank if you go up we repeat the check if you defend with the knight white can say okay no i can activate my rook my rook is going to go to the d8 and win your knight what do you do black can stop white from going to d8 but this is uh, uh, allows white to capture the c pawn no white is happy because it's not uh, that much down is down exchange but uh, is down a piece but off exchange and a pawn this is somehow equalized game but jordan van forest didn't go for didn't go for active move of counter-attack instead he passively defended uh, uh push uh, stopped c pawn from pushing but and also attacked the pawn but it, uh, the attack was quite useless because queen di indirectly defends the pawn right now you cannot capture that pawn now let me show you if you capture then you lose the exchange so you cannot capture that pawn so uh, jordan van forest moves the king away but the pawn is completely defended right now and it's pass pawn it's basically queen or a piece jordan van forest just now it starts to um, create some counterplay but it's very late queen is in the seventh uh, rank and you, you cannot go there to deliver uh, perpetual check or anything similar to that and you know, simply mamadiorov pushes the pawn one or two check by jordan van forest and white runs out of checks black starts to bring the queen in the game by two checks queen jumps in and no by queen b uh, no queen b6 um, b8 it's basically end of a game of course you cannot capture the you cannot capture the c pawn because you will be mated for example what do you want to do to capture this pawn then this is a mate where do you go the only place is here and it's a mate uh, you may say that yeah if you capture the pawn okay if black takes the queen we take and we are happy but the point is that black doesn't take the queen black just simply mates so you cannot capture the pawn and the queen and rooks uh, rook are paralyzed uh, one cannot leave with the other also you cannot capture the bishop of course right because this is end of a day so they are paralyzed and black can simply improve his peace positions and um, white cannot do anything but waiting for black to destroy his position and at, at, 
it was around this position that um, Jordan Van Forest resigned because he had nothing but uh, seeing that pawn is turning to a queen right now what can you do at this position nothing for example bringing the queen in to preventing because um, it's clear black want to punch the pawn there is no check and what do you do to stop the pawn if you attack the bishop anyways black pushes the pawn if you capture the bishop first we give a check and then bring the queen in notice that you cannot even capture this queen because it's a mate i hope you enjoyed bye